felt that it was time, you know, to, to spend the money. But the majority of Muhammad taxpayers disagreed with him. They voted against a tax hike that would help build a new junior high. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. The district says it's time to move on, but the current building is overcrowded. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara joins us. So Scarlett, what happens next? I spoke with Superintendent Dr. Kenny Lee, and he says they'll continue to monitor enrollment and make the best of the current 60-year-old facility. Now, if this referendum had passed, the new junior high wouldn't have opened until 2025. So they'll move forward with their plan for the next few years, but after that, even parents have told me something needs to change. On every Muhammad taxpayer's ballot was a $59 million question. I don't mind paying those taxes if it's going to benefit uh, the school system and the, you know, the children of the community. Chris Harps was among the 40% who voted in favor of a referendum to build a new junior high school in Muhammad. Frankly, I'm disappointed. Disappointed that the majority of voters rejected the district's proposal twice. When their $98 million plan failed in June, they didn't give up. The junior high is hundreds of students over capacity and counting. I honestly thought that, that folks would see that and then, um, you know, realize that, you know, we do need improvements and, you know, and potentially a new junior high school. Every parent we've spoken to says something needs to change, but not everyone feels it was a perfect plan. One says he only voted yes because overcrowding is a pressing problem. Superintendent Dr. Kenny Lee says they'll find a way to manage it. Certainly, um, we'll always uh, respect uh, the wish of our taxpayers. We'll continue to, to look at creative ways inside and outside of the building uh, to address our space constraints. They've already had to get creative. Some teachers share classrooms or teach in the cafeteria or wrestling room. The district even added a portable extension with space for two more classrooms, but no bathrooms. We do have it secured off with uh, a fencing, uh, and, but students do have to walk uh, in the elements um, to go inside. One parent says people are moving to Muhammad for the schools, but the village just doesn't have the infrastructure to keep up. Now, even though it's not as strained as the junior high, Lincoln Trail Elementary also is facing capacity issues. But if we continue to see enrollment grow, uh, we'll look at being creative in the building just as the junior high has been. Parents that voted against the referendum disagreed with the location. Right now, the junior high is next to the high school, but the new one would have been built a couple miles away by Middletown Prairie Elementary. Jessica. All right, Scarlett, thank you. The school board president, Max McComb, gave us a statement. He says the board respects voters and the decision they made, but the, quote, significant overcrowding and substandard conditions at the junior high will continue to be critical issues, and they'll work to address them.